Hey Cougars, it's part two of your music unit lessons. So your directions video will be linked here. All right, so the first one is to review your Solfege hand sign. So you will click this link, Solfege hand sign introduction, introduction, and I am reviewing what the hand signs look like that go with the Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, T. All right, something I want you to know for the next slide is, Okay, this right here, this is middle C, starts on Do. All right, what I need you to know is, let's say I, you can see my cursor, I can put Do in any line or space and it can change. Do can be um, this C or this C, right? What I want you to know, and all you need to know is, Do doesn't have to just stay on this note. Do can begin on another space or line. So I say that, so when you go to the next slide, and here are your hand signs uh, that you would have reviewed on the previous slide, and you click this Introduction to Solfege video. This man that's uh, teaching on this video, he'll say Do begins on C, or Do begins on B flat, or Do begins on D, whatever the case may be. You don't need to worry about that. All you need to know is that Do can start at any line or space on the staff, all right? So you're going to click this Solfege hand sign introduction, review your hand signs. Then on the next slide, you will click the introduction to Solfege with this lesson and how it changes, where Do changes on that staff. Then, you will click the Do Re Mi song from the Sound of Music that some of you already did in Google Classroom. You'll see how Do Re Mi Fa Sol La Ti Do fits in that song. And then I would like you to click this link and when the song is playing, the screen will show when you do the hand sign for Do or when you do the hand sign for Re or Mi or Fa or So or La or Ti or Do. And so for part two, you will finish up using your hand signs with that song. See ya in part three.